Hello friends, I'm Painting Hyun. Today, I wanted to paint in a pink clothes, carnation bird, and some plants. Before we start painting, subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification in order to not miss my next video. I'll make a composition like this. These uh, beautiful pink clothes and carnation buds and uh, some uh, plants. Okay, I already have uploaded this only pink clothes. Yeah, I will link that video in the description box below. If you missed it, watch it and enjoy it. Next, I'm going to make a color gradation. Take a pink color, put on the center of the paper. And then, uh, this one is actually a brilliant pink by Holbein, but then you can use any pink color. Next, take a magenta. And a first time, uh, take a very thick color and then take a water again and then dilute that color. This one is the sub green. And next, I'm placing loads, buds, and plant. And first, I will draw lovely. Hold the loads pedal to draw a oval and cup shape. And draw each petal one by one. Rose flower has a uh, tricky to draw, so it uh, needs a bit detailed drawing. Look at the stem, it's not a straight stem. The middle of the stem, there are nodes and crooked. This is the sepals. I used a 2 h pencil. I almost finished the sketch and start coloring. So take water and wet the paper of rose area. And then first apply pink first and put on the petal area.
This is the first layer with very watery pink color. And next, this is the second layer for a petal. Will be thick pink brown top area and lower pink uh, lower petal area. Next, watery magenta color put on the lower petal area. And then blend softly that color. I switch the brush. I'm using the uh, pointed round brush and I separate each petal. So I put on the thick magenta color, put on the between petal area and draw some lines down to up. I'm drawing this line of the petal from down to up of the petal. So the reason is uh, that there is a uh, intense magenta color on the lower petal area. So you can drag the color upward. What I'm doing now, I'm create rose petal. So add, uh, I'm adding the mixture of um, magenta and sap green in the tip of the petal area. I made very thick and uh, strong color. So I mixed um, magenta mix sap green color. I'm uh, putting on the tip of the petal area. Then also I put on the between petal. So I want to separate and uh, each petal. And then also I want to give them some depth.
Next for the carnation birds, I'm using uh, same color magenta put on the tip of the brush, the tip of the area. And then I already wet the paper so that color uh, spread by themselves. That effect is so beautiful, right? Okay, next this one is the sap green color. I always the same method first with the paper and then a watery color next a little bit thick intense color. Okay, we are going to move plant area and then background. I will use wet on wet loose style. So wetting the paper first and mixing um, sap green and pink. So I want to get some kind of the uh, uh, kind of olive and or a little bit uh, soft green color. Now I'm using the Escoda Synthetic um, a filbert a 16 brush. So then I'm putting my brush on the paper and sliding up swiftly and draw intense of green in the middle of the leaf and quickly. Next I'm mixing sap green mix magenta color. So I want to get very thick intense uh, greenish brown color and draw the center and the tip of the leaf area Next, flower color put on the leaf area. So I want to get some uh, natural looking. Next, I want to draw flower shadow. So first with the paper background area. In the beginning, I don't think about the shadow, but then I want to do, uh, draw shadow, so I need uh, ultramarine deep color. So uh, I, mixed, I need the mixture of ultramarine deep and magenta color put on the next um, flower and a lip and stem area. So in this painting to make shadow lightly, the reason why I want to finish this painting comparable looking and sweet and soft. In this painting, uh, light is the top left hand side. So and now I draw shadow right lower area. This one is the leaf and stem shadow.
Also, I want to use the splash, some color, and this one is the flower color on the background. And one more thing on the uh, end of the shadow, I'm adding flower color. It will be looking natural and airy. I'm really enjoying this technique in my paintings. Okay, we are almost done this painting. I really enjoyed this painting. I hope you had a good time with me and this painting. Thank you for watching this video. See you next time. Bye!